You're live with Lucy Hawkins. To Uganda now, where an artist is using his skills to bust the myths surrounding the skin condition vitiligo. Now, this is a condition caused by a lack of melanin pigment, and it leads to pale white patches, seen by some, though, in the country as a curse. Live to Kampala now, Martin Sangavugi is a uh, artist who began this project, drawing people living with the condition in a way of teaching others about it. Martin, uh, very good to see you. Tell us about the motivation behind the project, why you started it. Yeah, it was on the 28th of September in 2019, when I had also participated in a collective show at, uh, in one of the collective art exhibitions, uh, which was World Speak. And I had an art piece which was titled Melanin Tattoo, uh, where a client came through to interact with the artwork and they wanted to buy it. Uh, some good dollars and all that happened, uh, I come to explain what melanin tattoo means and talking about the permanent tattoo that God gave us and I was saying people shouldn't bleach, people shouldn't remove that melanin tattoo and the lady, I explained to her, say the likes of Michael Jackson. So I was claiming that Michael Jackson bleached and she cut me short and got detached immediately from the artwork and told me that she was not going to buy the artwork anymore because I was not informed. And she asked me, I thought artists are always informed, make research before presenting their work. And that hit me so hard, like so hard. And she didn't buy the work. So when I went back home, she had already told me about Michael Jackson having a skin condition called vitiligo. And she opened up the light from there. When I made the research, when I watched um, uh, uh, an interview of Michael Jackson and Oprah of 10th February 1993 and I watched the legend almost crying. I imagined how about someone in my third world country, remote village in a less privileged family in Uganda and Africa. I decided I needed to step in as a visual artist and I decided to use my power. Because of Martin, what, is the, what is the stigma surrounding vitiligo? Yeah, the stigma is so intense to the extent that people don't move out of their houses and it's because of the myth. It is regarded as a curse. They are considered as bad omen. They are looked at as people who don't deserve to live. They have certain spiritual bad luck on them. And it has continuously inflicted the stigma on those people. And even one of the myths talking about twins be believing that twins are, sp uh, are spiritual beings who have uh, caused wrath on these people. And what happens is the twins and the people themselves who are living with vitiligo are all stigmatized with all their families and isolated. For example, in our, in our parliament, you will not find someone who has vitiligo in that opportunity. So many of them have lost jobs because of developing white patches on their skin. And I'm questioning them, is it the right thing to do? Is it the right thing to treat someone in this beautiful Martin, world? Martin, and I'm so answer. sorry to interrupt you. We, have, we are out of time. We have to leave it there. But thank you for telling us about your exhibition and dispelling the myths and the stigma around vitiligo. See you tomorrow.